Hi guys. Got to turn a little filter on. Hi everybody. Hi Lauren. How do you turn a filter on? Well, okay, so down in the lower right hand corner, there's the happy face with the sparkles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. So it. tap that, and then I'm going with the purple with stars. Yeah. I think like you just that. had it. Yeah. That? Yeah, I you know, got to give ourselves a little really? something. I don't know how to do it. No, Is I think it? you did Is it. it you look filtered, yeah. Unless you're just that no, beautiful. That's it. That, <laughs> you know, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. How do I get out of the filter? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no, it did it again. Now you're now you don't have it on. Ah. Hey, Jess. Hey. Um, I don't know. I can now, I just have the filters at the bottom and I don't know how to get Yeah, but it's on you. You have a filter I, on. But now I can, but I have all the filters up still. Oh, like I so do I. I don't know how to get rid of, oh, okay. So they're just I letting me know. Fine. Just okay. go with it. Cheers, um, friend. I haven't seen you in so long. Cheers. I miss you. I think this is the longest we haven't seen each other in two years. I think so too. Right? Can you let me know if I have lipstick on my teeth? Okay. Yeah, I will. Because I, uh, I haven't worn red lipstick since like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you putting it on for us. Cheers. And what are you drinking tonight? A red? I'm drinking a red. I'm doing a little Italian red tonight. Okay. Actually, I'm, no, I'm this is a, a little... French red. This is a French red. Okay. I'm French too. A little rosé nice. from Provence. Yep. Delicious. Well, um, welcome back to Instagram, by the way. Thank you. You know, I, uh, it's not my thing, but I, I feel like these days it's like the only way to see your friends. And I also felt like, oh my God, I really actually just want to reach out to the world and say hi, because it's yeah. been so dang long. Well, we're ready for you. Ah, thanks friend. But thanks for I'm everybody for joining us. We've got about 3,300 people right now checking hey in, but hi, basically, um, Cameron, my name is Catherine, for people that don't know me. Um, and, you know, I don't even know if people know we're friends because we're just so, our relationship is just so under wraps. I know. People don't know how deep we're in to it. With yeah. Well, but um, we haven't seen each other in weeks, like weeks. since the first week of March, probably. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to catch up with you and see how you're doing and, Good. you know, how's this quarantine I'm like? Good. Well, you know, it's sort of like I have been, um, oh, hey, look at that. There you go. I'm going to learn something every day. Um, I, well, I've kind of been living a quarantine life anyhow, because I have a three month old or three and a half month old. Yes. So I, my life has been completely like quiet and still for the last few months and having, you know, just have, but I was able to have like all my friends over all the time, right? you know, and now I don't see anybody. Like, I know. It's just, we just don't see each other. It's so crazy. But I know. it's I was... nice. I love it though. I, can, I mean, I love a bubble. It's so dope. Yeah. I love being like in the womb of my home and like with my family and with my husband and like cooking and, yes. you know, it's just so good. But at the same time, it's like crazy to think that there's, you can't actually go out into the world if you want to do right now. And then you think of everything that's happening out there and all the people who are holding it down, which is incredible. Like I'm so really like awesome. amazed at how, you know, how many people it's, you know, are really out there actually, you know, doing it, you know, yeah. I know it's, it's in their lives. It's such a weird, um, a weird place to be where we're all safe and sheltering inside. And then you have the exact opposite with 
the rest of the population who, you know, has to risk their health just to help us. And I'm so grateful for, for that and for them. Yeah, me too. We're, we're the luckiest of the lucky, that's for sure. Yeah. But um, I feel like, you know, it is everybody does have to do their part and stay in. And it's just a, it's an equation, you know, it's just an yeah. equation and that's it. But um, I'm I know, it's I definitely do, working. It is. And, you know, I actually the last time the first time I left my house was after you found out that you were positive with COVID, yes. which was crazy because you, yeah. you were sick for so long. And yeah, we, um, you know, we you were constantly trying to figure out what it was. And then you finally found out. Yeah. And then I left my house to take you a package. And then two weeks later was the last time I left when I came to bring you guys some shrimp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I have to say, when I saw you run up with your mask and your glasses, I like teared up a little because it's just so sad not like to see your friends, but not to be able to be with them. So I'm glad that we're sharing this, this um, glass of wine virtually. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been, you know, uh, you taught me this concept of um, no waste cooking. Yeah. Which I've really, really gotten into. So, yes. So maybe you could explain a little bit about um, this, just this concept and, and um, I mean, where I'm it just, came from. Well, I grew up, where I grew up was, um, I grew up in Long Beach. We grew up with, you know, we're lower income um and there was zero waste in our house like zero waste we would go grocery shopping like every three weeks or we'd fill the refrigerator up put everything in the freezer put everything in the fridge and we would just eat it until it was gone and it didn't matter if there was like mold on the bread you cut it off if there was like yeah. half a rotten apple you cut off the bad part and you eat the good part and basically if there's limp lettuce you reconstitute it you put it back into the water and you let it like soak up all the water for the day and so I have I've just come from that mentality I think it's like total depression era mentality that my mom was raised under because my grandmother was like didn't throw away anything yeah you know raised all of her own um, animals her own vegetables made all her own clothes so it was just like this you know I just constantly have the mindset of like you don't throw anything away yeah <laughs> and so I just I just eat everything so this is actually I'm thriving in this in this uh, yes atmosphere. it's like a chat it's a challenge it's a fun it's a total challenge and you're such a great cook I mean I don't even know if people know that about you but you're an amazing chef so your husband's really lucky to be quarantined with you as I am lucky like you have your coit Cooking with Koi. Yes. Justin is such an amazing cook, too. We always talk about food. I'm going to actually hit him up on some, like, tips. Because I want to start okay. doing, like, little videos of cooking. Yeah. You know? Because I just think it's so much fun. And it's just what I do. I'm either cleaning, cooking, or taking care of my baby. Like, well, and usually all of it at the same time. So. Yes. <laughs> but, um, cooking But is I'm like obsessed my with, this, with this idea you gave me. So, basically... I what? Love it. Yeah, so you keep sending me pictures of like what you cooked. You're like, these were on their last legs. <laughs> yes, so that's what I've been doing. I mean, basically, you know, because we're eating home cooked meals for the most part, we've been ordering in maybe two, three times a week. Um, uh -huh. But I'm really loving making our own food. And so what I've been doing is just going to the refrigerator and facing what we're going to eat around what's going bad next and yep. figuring out what to make from it. So yeah. leftover rice that was like Mexican rice from, you know, the, the night before. Then I had romaine lettuce that was about to go mad. I made like a warm rice salad that was so dope yeah. with some feta cheese. And, and it was, wasn't it based off of like one of your favorite dishes at a restaurant? Yes. So yes. Like, this Argentinian that, like, restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. I love doing that too. Like I often like, I'll eat something and then I'll go home and recreate it as soon as I can. And I usually, yeah. I love also like a pantry, like what you're talking about, you know, going into the, the refrigerator, looking at what is needed to like, what's next, what's going bad next. 
what do I need to eat now? And then going into the pantry and just finding whatever is in the pantry that I can just put together. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, it's like a cooking challenge. You should do some cooking, like some cooking You're covering videos. your mic. Oh, I said you should do some cooking videos. I think yeah, people yeah, would yeah. be really into that. Would you guys be into that if Cameron did some uh, little cooking videos? I would watch. I would. I'd, I'll, do, I'll do some cooking videos. I love, I mean, God, I love food. Yeah. I was, I was talking to my mom. Every time I call my mom, the first thing she says, I say, how are you doing, mom? She's like, well, last night <laughs> I, cooked, <laughs> I cooked a chicken leg. I got these chicken breasts and I poached them and I put them all into the freezer, except for I had one and I'm going to cook them. I'm going to eat them as I go. Like she's like, and then I got a bunch of spinach and I sauteed it with garlic. And all I have to do is like throw it in the pan. Yeah. I was like, so it's constant. Like that's all we, we talk about. Now we're um, getting a lot of votes for the, for the cooking video okay. to the second to come in, but I love it. I, um, you know what I also love to do? I love keeping one bite of food. I never throw away a leftover. Never okay. throw away a leftover. Yeah, I'm you like, might need that one bite later. One bite the next I agree. day is like so good. It's just I like totally agree. cold, you know? Or sometimes I'll just take it up. Like I can add rice to this or I can add pasta to yeah. this or I can add a veggie to this, you know, or an egg and whatever it is. Like I'll just make it like you know, into a whole full meal. Yeah. Um, out of one bite. I love a foot. I love a flavor profile. Well, what do you, what have you guys been eating? Like, what's your, I want to know what you're eating. And then I need to imagine your full day because <laughs> you have so many animals and so much to take care of. I know I got like, all I'm doing over here is keeping things alive. Yeah, <laughs> all day long. From, from trees to babies to oh husbands. my god, trees to babies to my veggie garden. I just planted a veggie garden because I was like, I don't know how long this is going on in my veggie garden. It was time, and we've had so much rain. I was like, I'm gonna have to get my veggie garden planted so that if this goes through like the summer, I'm gonna have some food to eat because it's so yeah. hard right now to you know get the get get the, the food that you want, but it's one of those things like I'll, I can take, I can eat anything. It can make anything taste good. Right. So, um, right well, that's now, a very what, special skill set, by the is. way. <laughs> yes. I prep myself on it. <laughs> um, what, you know what, one of my go-tos is like, I do like a, I get, I have these ramen packs and I'm, yes. all, and I just like, I'm obsessed with ramen. So I do I it like make some good ramen. So what do you do? Are they plain noodles? Mm -hmm. No, they're like a, I get different flavor packets. Okay. I use the flavor packets, but I build on the flavor. Okay. With like, I, I do a bunch of different veggies. I do usually like a mushroom and some sort of onion or leek um, or a shallot. And I do like grated garlic and ginger. And um, I saute everything, like lay, flavoring the, uh, laying the flavors with butter and like yeah. chili paast and like just gets it so thick and delicious. I want you to make me some because oh we can God. get, you know, there's gluten-free ramen. We have some, some packets, but they don't, the way they come is not very good, you know? It's, by the end of it, it's literally, that's what I ate last night. Um, we ate last night for dinner. Benj and I had like big bowls, like big bowls of noodles. It was so good. I love a noodle. Yeah. I love a broth. Yes. <laughs> and someone asked, someone asked, someone okay. asked, um, do you drink wine while you cook? And what's your favorite? So I, that's my wine down. I have to cook at night. Like I, yeah. I know people hate cooking. I know that I have like, to watch reality TV, so I get. I know it. you. Do, I know you. I know that's your shut off. Like you're like, let me watch Real House of Beverly Hills. Well, real, real life. How, what is it? Real. Real life? Housewives of Beverly Hills. Thank Vanderpump you. Rules. Vanderpump right. Rules is the best show on television. Hands I love that down. You love that. Period. End of story. <laughs> you know what is? I, I I beg to differ. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I know Drag Race. Is my favorite. It's like <laughs> literally what I live for. I can't even like handle like like I can't. I live for it. That is it's such my a happiness. Fun fact. I know. 
Um, yes, I drink every night. It's my wind down for the day where I go in after I, we've done bath time with um, our baby and like put her down to sleep. I Benj puts her to bed like he's so good. He's like such an amazing father. I'm so lucky he's my baby's daddy. Like he's so incredible. So he puts her down and I go into the kitchen and I start dinner and yeah. I, um, I do, I pour myself a nice glass of red wine and I start my cooking. I put on my show, whatever it is. I also just redid the entire Veep. Oh, okay. Have you I done never Veep? did Veep. No, oh, I never did. The most, it's like my Curb Your Enthusiasm. Okay. Like, you know how you love yes. cur my, my yes. Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yes. To me, Veep is like literally. Okay, well, I love her, so. She's genius. Everybody on there is genius. It's so hard to do what they do. What they yeah. do is like so hard. It's like beyond. It's so good. Um, but yeah, then I just kind of like cook and drink a nice glass of wine really slow and just like watch my show and it's my wine down. I love it. Wonderful. And what, <laughs> are, you, uh, what are you like? Give me like a little um, glimpse at... <laughs> the day are you gardening are you oh yeah um, I'm, I'm full house like every day is like set another like keeping the house up you know like yeah. vacuuming mopping you know yesterday was bathrooms um today I did all the plants um what was it I vacuumed the other day Nicole came over and watched um Rad for for me while I vacuumed the house, which was like a workout, which I love. I yeah. just like get sweaty. <laughs> You're so lucky, by the way, that, that Nicole and Joel are your oh, neighbors. So you can be quarantined together. And like, it's the best. It's so, we're yeah. so lucky. We're yeah. so lucky. Um, what else do we do? Um, what else do we do? What else do I do? I mean, I'm literally just like, I have my dog. So I'm just like, that's my day. And, as well like they're a part of my my one dog his purpose yeah. is to like step in every footstep that I take at the same time I take it <laughs> I know that dog he's like it's a challenge to him he's like I'm gonna put my paw exactly where her foot is right yeah. now <laughs> it's like crazy um but yeah but, we're just like we're just you know really feel grateful for w the fact that we can be home um, here and with one another. I know it's like such yeah. a crazy time and it's so stressful for, for people, but um, for so many different reasons, but I feel like when you get into that groove, you know, of being home, I think everybody that I talk to, it's just like, wow, it's like a, a certain thing that starts to happen, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I went, it went from feeling like it was some kind of a weird, bad dream to uh -huh. now I'm just sort of used to it. And, you know, I'm so worried about, you know, the world and the yeah. economic position of everybody and, yeah. and the country. But Well, you have so much responsibility being a CEO of two companies, like, you have like so many people that you have to look after. Yeah. And we're so lucky that we can work from home. Yeah. So, you know, it's, you know, we're truly grateful, but I just feel like we have to hold our breath and everybody has to hold hands and get through this time. And mm -hmm. then we need to see, you know, what the, what the damage is and rebuild from there. It's just too hard to, mm -hmm. to guess, you know, yeah. and um, it, it's, it's, it's a terrible, terrible situation, but it's a, we are a very strong country and we will help each other. And, you know, that's the yeah. amazing thing about this, this country. Yeah, I agree. We will get through it guys. Yeah. Um, what's your day? Like, I know you're like working. Hi constantly. Patty Zimmy. There's a uh, Jamie, Jamie, uh, Jamie's oh, mom. Hi. Hi Patty. <laughs> <laughs> We miss you here. Wait, yes. What's that? Oh, it's good to see you too, Stacy. I can't. I can't see anymore. <laughs> I need, my, I need gla my glasses to read. I can't see anything anymore. It's like so. Yeah. Annoying. So use 
use all cash. Someone said the body book is amazing. I agree. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank yes. you. I'm glad you like it. I mean, that's another thing. We just have to take care of our well being. And yeah. one of the things that I feel like with, you know, not to go back to cooking, but everything's about food for me. Yes. Um, <laughs> You know, um, oh, there she is. I was wondering how long it would take, Nicole. <laughs> um, is that I, uh, I feel like cooking, you know, everybody right now is like really forced. I know there's a lot of people ordering food out, but like you're kind of forced to cook for yourself, yeah. which I think is the highest form. Was that Nicole Richie? Was that yes. Nicole? What yes. did she say? She's screaming <laughs> obscenities. She's just really, don't, don't, don't pay attention to that little one. I told her we were doing this. I just didn't tell her when. Um, <laughs> oh, I, and um, there's Danny Pellegrino, who I follow and love. Uh, you so know, funny. Um, uh, um, shit. Who were you talking that? about cooking? Oh, yeah, yeah, cooking. But I was thinking about somebody else, too, I follow, who I die for is um oh god dang it what's his name yeah what are your favorite accounts i haven't, now that you're I haven't looked coming at, back I haven't looked at instagram in so long because i just don't have time <sighs> benny drama oh you yes know, didn't, didn't of I, course. You benny drama? Yes, I of love course. benny drama he like lifts my spirit yeah. so much he, i laugh so much at what he does he's so good uh, thank god for those accounts right now right thank god oh my god so much so yeah um so, oh, cooking, it's like the highest form of self-care. Yes. It's like you're nourishing yourself on so many levels. Yeah. You know, because you're doing it with nutrients and the food that you eat, but you're also like taking care of yourself. Yeah. And you're also, I think like when you learn how to like create the things that make you feel warm inside, that's also like having, giving care to yourself as well. Um, so I, incur I, I think that people just don't think that they know how to cook, but it's like, so yeah. easy. I mean, I don't, but I, I still, you I'm, I'm on my own for lunches. That's kind of the deal here. Right. Is that, right, right. Um, you know, That's my husband doing in our house too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I, I can't, you think I can do a freaking lunch today. You know what my lunch was today? I was <laughs> so, <laughs> I had zero time to eat. So I, I just wanted something crunchy so bad. Yes. So I went in, I was like in the pantry and all I found were some broken up ass chips that were like corn chips that were just like crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> and I, crumbles. Took, I took Cholula and I pour, I put it on a plate. I took Cholula, I poured it over That'll the top it. of it. I That'll flipped it. it and I ate it with a pork. <laughs> I totally get it. And that did the job, right? It was so good. And then I took like an avocado, sliced it up. And I took a uh, celery and sliced it up. Just yes. like, and then I squeezed lemon and a little bit of olive oil on it. And I felt like I redeemed myself. Yeah. Because <laughs> I had actual nourish, like some kind of nourishment. But yeah, I was like so hungry. Oh, yeah. I but for like, the first, like, th well, you know, while I was sick, like, Justin was literally cooking three meals a day. Mm -hmm. So he's a good man. But now so good. I uh, I have to do the lunches. So I'm just making stuff up. I've, you know, lost what are you making? you guys. So what are you making? Tell today me. I that... sauteed, well, we had some peppers today that mm -hmm. I thought looked like they were on their last leg. What kind of peppers? Like bell peppers? Um, yeah, there was people? one red bell pepper and then some sweet orange and yellow kind of peppers. So I yeah. chopped that up. Don't know how to chop anything. Everything's a weird shape <laughs> size. And then did onions and sauteed that with some uh, sausages, like spicy uh -huh. chicken sausage mm -hmm. that we had in the refrigerator that we're going to expire soon and then put it over some leftover rice from last night sounds sprinkled delicious. on a little feta cheese i don't know i was just like Ooh, hey just that me. sounds I delicious try whatever i want you can do whatever you dance whatever you want woman yes it's your it's your stomach first off yes. <laughs> it's your mouth <laughs> like you'll that's the thing if you follow your desire for flavor you're gonna you'll get something yeah you know I just get mad when it comes out really bad because mm -hmm. it just ruins like we only get three meals a day we're so lucky 
Like, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> I want everyone to be a good experience. I know. <laughs> you don't want to waste it. Yeah. I'm doing a shake in the morning. Hey, and Carlos. I tell you, Hi, Carlos. Um, I can't, how do you see, is there a way to expand? I can't even see, like, they're, they're like one line and I don't even get well, to. Well, I don't know. Can you see this? I'm flipping through the messages. No, can you flip through them? Oh. Yeah, you can scroll Look back up. Like if you miss oh. something. Hi guys. Oh, there you go. I can see y'all. Yeah. Um, oh. We'll take some questions too. Yeah, we could take questions. Is there any questions? What's the question? Uh, I mean, my point of this is really, you know, to welcome Cameron to Instagram. Don't you guys think that she should be on here a little bit more? Catherine's been trying to get me back. Now that on. we have time in the world. I mean, I feel like it. What did that person say? I can't. Uh... Oh, whoever gets the bottom window is screwed because the, yeah, that you totally, I can't even see anything. Carlos says Nicole's here too. Is she, are they together? Kicking with Corey. What did he say? What's your favorite natural wine? Oh, well, we love a natural wine, don't we, we Cam? We love a natural wine. We sure we, do. We drink clean wine clean and we, wine. Think, we think more people should, right? I agree a thousand percent because we all buy organic I groceries. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, that was delicious. It was. Oh, God. any COVID-19 coping skills yes. you'd like to share? Um, one of the things that I, the way that I'm making it through this time is by staying in the present, right? Because my mind can go, I can go. Like, leave mm -hmm. my mind to imagine what could happen. Like, what could happen now? What could happen in the future? Like, leave my mind. I will think of some up shit. I don't know. Yeah. If, can you swear on Instagram? You can. Okay. Yeah. I would think of some fucked up shit. Like, seriously, go twisted, dark, 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 dark. So I just don't let myself. I stay yeah. present. I stay here in the here and now, what I can affect, what I can do on a daily basis to take care of myself, take care of my family. The furthest I think out is like two weeks. So because right now to get anything into the house, it takes a couple of weeks to really like get what you need. Yes. So I look at what I have right now and what I'm going to need in two weeks. And I try to like plan now for the two weeks to try yeah. to like get things here by then yeah other than that like i am in the moment here being so grateful that i am healthy so grateful yeah. that my friends are healthy so grateful that my friend recovered from this really scary disease so grateful yeah. that you know um you know that the people that i know who are struggling know that they have a support system, you know, like that, all of those things. I'm just so grateful that I'm w w for what we have that I just stay in the present because you can't really make any other yeah. decision. You have to make the decisions that suit you right near here that you can affect the change. So if I'm sitting here being freaked out and I'm trying to relate to my husband or my baby and I'm just like freaked out about what's going to happen, they're, yeah. I'm missing everything and they're getting the worst of me. So yeah. I just like try to stay here. I am. I'm right here right now. Yeah. I'm, so you're in the two week at a time. I'm right here. Like yeah. there's nothing else. Like I am very grateful. I'm just trying to like, and if I start to get like a little off and start go, I don't know. I just yeah. bring, I sit for a second. I take deep breaths. I touch the things around me to show that I'm here. And now yeah kiss my baby I kiss my husband and I just go like we're okay yeah it's all right it's all gonna be okay even though we don't know anything like I have yeah. no idea like we don't know we don't yeah I don't have I, any idea nobody does I've had to kind of accept the fact that it's gonna be a long time before life feels like it did before if, if it yeah. ever does you know it's yeah. probably always going to be slightly different but yeah I've had to recreate a routine and a schedule that's different from what I used to have mm. but I right. realized I need that in order to be balanced mm -hmm. and it's made such a difference for me yeah I was you know actually I really was wondering how that is for you because 
you are so such a hard worker you're so dedicated to your professional life and you're so dedicated to your family and your baby boy is like my homie we i love him so much he's the best and you know i just thinking i my heart swells up every time i think that you get to be with him as much as you get to be yeah with him. like and i just know for him like he loves his mama so much yeah. and that he gets to like see you yeah. and be with you is like oh we've been having a good time right yeah we've been it's having a like, good time I, I mean yeah. i still have to go you know shut the door in the office and do sure. my work day but at least i go down i make lunch which is usually when he's having lunch. So I get to have lunch with him and then, mm -hmm. you know, um, get to be with him earlier at night because I'm not, you know, driving home in traffic. And yeah, um, yeah we're getting some great time together. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a really, you know, a, a tiny silver lining in all this terrible, terrible yeah. stuff that everybody's going through. So, For sure. yeah. I was wondering too, like, so for like your, your quarantine life, like for yes. me, like what I'm wearing right now is basically what I wear on a daily basis, here, yeah. which is like a sweater over a dress over a pair of pants. Yes. So that I have like multiple options. Yep. So if I'm cleaning and I need to take off like my sweater. <laughs> I usually have a tank top underneath too. Hold on. Justin's <laughs> asking a very important question. Do I want green beans or broccoli for dinner? I thought we were having spinach, honey. Oh, Justin. She thought she was having spinach. And I'll make it for you if you want. Ooh. I do know Sexy. how to make I know how to make spinach and green beans. Ooh. I'm learning. <laughs> um, uh, but your, yeah, your wardrobe is very versatile and normal to what you... I'm like, so like the other day I was wearing like my workout pants with my dress with a sweater yes. and I went to go visit some of my neighbors Yes, and they were like, you look so cute. And I was like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm just wearing a dress over workout pants. <laughs> it was, it was so <laughs> Well, you've been looking pretty good on the, so uh. Yeah. Any, any phone oh, oh, call I've seen oh, you yeah. on? Yeah. I try, I, you know, yeah. I just try it. I just try to do a, enough. Um, well, I'm we loving take... the wardrobe. Yeah. What are you wearing? I feel like well, today I put like... on, actually put on a sundress by Lilene, mm -hmm. um, which is off brand for me because it's not a weekend, but I heard right. it was going to be 75 and not that I've stepped outside for one minute, <laughs> but I just decided to put it on. Um, but I've been wearing basically just um, different color sweatshirts and jeans. Like that's mm -hmm. kind of like anything machine washable. Hey, Stelina. Yep. Hi, Stelina. We love you. Yes. <laughs> but I'm loving it. Zoe. Hi, Z. What's up, baby? I love Zoe Saldana. Hi, um, Zoe. She's my homie. She's the best. Um, Does Zoe's anyone have any, any questions? Any questions? Before we uh, oh, sign off? Foot. Before I have to go make my spinach okay. and you have to go, what are you going to make tonight? Which foot? Um, I am going to make, uh, I'm going to grill some chicken breasts. Okay, great. You know, I have um, a few life partners. Okay. And one of my life partners is my grill. Okay. We have a, yeah, we have an understanding. The, the green egg? or which No, one? I have the green egg, but I have my gas grill. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My gas grill and my stove, we're like, you know, we have an understanding with one yes. another. You know, we have like a relationship that we work on together. And my grill and I need a little... We, a little time together tonight. right so it's been a minute right <laughs> yes it's like it's been raining for like two weeks not that i don't grill in the rain i grill my my grill's basically like my my stove but yes um yeah. looks like it's delayed so when we ask it takes a while for the questions oh, yeah. to come in so now um so danny asked what this pillow is but it's actually a chair that i'm oh, sitting nice. in and then somebody asked you, Cameron, if you would write another book or what you're working on. 
I um, am not currently writing another book. It takes a lot to write a book. It's a lot of, a lot of dedication yeah. and time. I don't have that right now, but I'm working on a little project with my friend, Catherine. Hmm. Just a little something we've been cooking up for, mm -hmm. you know. A little something we've been working on. Working on. You heard it here yeah. first. <laughs> someone so. someone said wait because this is great What's Catherine that? who are you I've never heard of you before in my life I have four kids <laughs> but but I don't live in a ditch who are you and why are you famous <laughs> oh Helen Helen is here too what's up hi, hi Helen. drinking your wines yes Helen thank you for the you know she keeps us she keeps us alive we love we love drinking wine well, from Helen's wines Cal well are you going to tell them who you are? <laughs> who the hell are you, Catherine? <laughs> I, I haven't yet learned how to pin, like, who's talking. Like, you can put, like, what right. what you guys right. are opting into. My uh -huh. name is Catherine Power. I'm oh, not Elizabeth famous. Berkeley. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. So her name is Catherine Power. I'm and not she... famous. I am a web liberty, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> No, I am. Um, I'm the CEO of a company called Who, What, Where. Have you heard of it? It's a fashion company. And um, we've got a website, whowhatwhere.com. And then we sell um, a really great brand of clothing that's distributed across the country in Target stores. Um, I also have a skincare brand called Versed, which you can find All in many, many stores across the country, including Target. Um, and target.com, which, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you can shop from right now. So, uh, definitely check it out. But Cameron and I are really good friends and we met through, um, Nicole Ritchie, who's been my, one of my best friends for decades. And that's, uh, yeah. That's and nice. Nicole Ritchie is my sister-in-law. I don't know. I mean, some people know that, but she and our husbands are twin brothers, so Nicole and I are sisters. And um, also, Catherine is just a bomb-ass entrepreneur. So she's, she's just a boss. She gets it done. Well, thank you. Um, Someone said, Cameron, come on Instagram more. So I think you should. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. I okay. am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm, I actually, you know, I feel like at this time, with everything that's going on, it's really hard for me to think about like um, leaving here, my home and like going out into the world to like reach people. And I know that yeah. Instagram allows you to like be able to not have to leave your home or go into the world. Yeah, that's <laughs> um, true. And, I, and, and it, given the, the current situation where, you know, you actually can't. I, and I feel like everybody's like cooped up and waiting and wanting to connect. I actually yeah. feel that way too. Like I want to actually connect with people. So I think I'm going to like reach out to some other friends and see, cause this was like so much fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love you. We're always going to have fun together, but yes. maybe I'll like reach out to some other of my friends. And I do, think like, you should talk, talk to people. Other stuff besides yeah. cooking and wine. I don't know if there's anything else. <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> Who's that? My friend, Jen. Oh, nice. Just waved at us. Um, any last questions before we go? We, I guess we have to wait for it to load up, right? Allie says, can't wait to hear more about your project together. Well, let's make it through this summer. and Woo. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It'll be just what you need. Yeah, I didn't see that. I can't see anything anymore. I can see far away. I said to, to Benji the other night. I was Someone like, said it'd be nice if you could do more lives. Camera, oh, would okay. like to see you. Does anybody know how I get all of the messages off Cameron's face? Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I, it's the covering your face. I, I can't see. I, I mean, I can't see anything. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, somebody me. asked... 10 times if you liked your copper kitchen um, cabinets or counter. Oh, I have um, a brass counter. Yes. Do you I like love. it? 
it's my favorite thing. I think it's okay. Yes, I love my breast cancer count counter. It's like it's like um the thing about it is is that there's upkeep to it because it's it's not lacquered. It's it patinas, so yeah. like on a weekly basis, you have to kind of like clean it. Um, but I love that it's a live surface and it's antimicrobial and um, it's my baby. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of babies, someone said, do you love motherhood? Obviously. I love being a mother. It's the best, best, best part of my life that I couldn't even like, I'm so, so, so grateful and so happy. And it's just the best thing ever. And I'm so lucky to get to do it with Benj and we're just having the best time. It's, it's so great. It's, I'm just thrilled. I can't believe it. Thank well, God. She is a little sweetie cutie. She I love her so much. Me too. Thank you. I'm so glad she's so lucky. You love her so much. She has mm -hmm. the best aunties. All right. Well, thanks guys for joining us while we caught up with each other. And I really hope to see you in person soon. I can't wait to give you a squeeze. I know. Me too. All right. Let's well, cook together. Your, yes. Enjoy your, well, you should just really cook with Justin. I mean, I'll be in the background, but I don't have a lot to add. Okay. I'll do it. I'll cook with Koi. Cooking okay. with Koi. Okay. Um, and enjoy your chicken breasts. I love you. Love you guys. Bye.